Okay, we're, we're here in Edmonton, Alberta. Conclusion of the elite men's race at the 2010 Road Nationals. Talking with Will Routley, our latest national champion. Congratulations, Will. Thanks, Rob. That's a um, pretty impressive ride. I mean, you came across to the break on your um, with one other guy, um, and then uh, we're active in it all day. Tell, tell, tell me about uh, what happened. First of all, getting across to the break. When did you decide that you needed to be in that break? Um, I kind of just tried to sit in there for the first couple laps and hide out and hopefully you guys would maybe forget about me and I just wanted to feel things out and see how the race was going to be raced. Um, and I think it was about three and a half laps in that break went clear and just starting the fourth lap they had maybe a 30 or 40 second gap uh, and there was just kind of a perfect moment when everybody sat up and fanned across the road and two of us just seized that opportunity when we, uh, we attacked the group and tried to go across the break. Um, and the guy I was with, the two of us rolled together and got halfway there, and uh, I just wanted to get across really quickly, um, you know, so as not to be a carrot for the rest of the group behind, so I just, I just punched it up the second one and got across the break really quick. Um, and once I was there, you know, we had a gap and it went out a little bit, and it was it was rolling well for a little while, and then uh, things started to get a little more disorganized, progressively more disorganized, um, and really all day I tried to just roll as much as I could, try not to kill myself, trying to be careful, but uh, roll as much as I could just to keep the break moving, keep that gap, because you know I don't want my teammates to care about myself, and that's, for me, the best place to be is racing from the, from the front of the bike race. Yeah, I mean, well, I was going to mention the fact that um, in the middle part of the race there, it really did get disorganized, and they started to lose some ground, and then you um, and a couple other guys started, started throwing attacks in there, trying to, I guess, uh, get it started again. Yeah, I mean, I really wanted the break just to keep rolling for a while, but guys started attacking it, and, you know, I'd thrown a couple, just a couple soft ones, really, like, I wasn't trying to attack the break, I was just trying to keep the momentum up. Every time guys, you know, after an attack, was after someone would attack, get caught, guys would kind of sit up and fan across the road a little bit, and I didn't want us to slow down and look at each other, so I would just keep going each one of those times, just kind of a, a gentle attack, just to keep the pace up, keep it going, keep it going. Um, and I mean, it really never got organized again, it just stayed disorganized. And there was that next group coming across, and it was about the time that they caught us when the more solid attacks started happening. And as soon as they caught us, we split it again, and 10 guys were up the road. Yeah. And then, when did Andrew Randall go? Because Andrew Randall obviously attacked, got a gap, he was on his own by about 30 seconds, and then you managed to bridge across with like a lap and a half to go. Yeah, he went, uh, I think he went at about, what was it, maybe? It was, it was inside two laps to go. Um, and he had a good gap, and he was, he was riding long. I mean, he was riding well all day, I can tell. Um, I kind of had my eye on him. <laughs> Um, and then again, you know, he had that gap, and guys were kind of looking at each other, and guys would attack to get across and negate one another. Um, and then again, I just saw a good opportunity, and I, I went across with one other fellow. And same situation, we made it halfway, uh, but we weren't going quite fast enough, so again, I punched it on the second climb. Uh, it's kind of a perfect spot because you can see the guy in front of you, and you see him as he goes around, so you can time it exactly right. as he goes around the 180. Um, so I went across, caught, caught Randall, and then uh, we had about a lap and a half to go together. And the two of us, we rolled pretty much for all the reward. Um, and we held on to that 30 second gap, and coming into the final climb of the day, we still had 30 seconds, so I thought it might be a good time to have a try, and I, I attacked him. Um, but I mean, he was really strong, and he didn't really have much trouble catch him back up to me. Um, and then all we had was the descent, and then roll across the flat over the bridge and into the, into the park. Uh, and at that point, because I just attacked him, and because the group charging behind us had some other spiders, that guy's, uh, he got the word to not work anymore, so I had to pull him down the hill and across uh, the bridge into the finish. Um, so I just went as hard enough to, to maintain the gap, go for the win, but uh, as easy as possible to try to save something and still be able to sprint. And, I mean, I came in and let out the sprint. And, I felt pretty calm coming in here that if it was a small group, I, I have a bit of sprinting legs in me. And I had actually a nice test of the sprint last week close. Um, so I was able to do it. Now, I mean, national championship, uh, how does this fit in terms of your uh, your career results? Oh, it means a lot. Um, it's got to be probably the best result I've ever had. Um, I mean, ever since like junior mountain bike days, I've, I've thought I had a shot at nationals. I, I've been on the podium before and I've done some top tens, but you know, I've, I've never managed to do it. I did, you know, junior mountain bike and S bar mountain bike, and then switched to the road as an S bar. And I've been trying for a long time. I mean, it's been 10 years of trying. Um, I mean, this year has just been coming together so well all year. And, you know, I, it, it was a big goal for me the whole year. And unfortunately, I was able to hold the form and keep it together. And, you know, today was a hard enough race that. I was able to get away at the end and do it. So do you think this is going to potentially uh, 
get some more people to look at you, uh, maybe some of the bigger teams, and uh, move up to maybe a European team, or do you think you're not quite ready for that yet? Um, yeah, from like the career standpoint, I mean, this has to be positive. It's having a national champion jersey on a team is is huge. I mean, personally, you get to put it on every day, and that's a pretty good motivation for training and racing. Um, but for teams as well, I mean, having a national champion on, on their team, you get call-ups at every race. It's great exposure, so it means a lot. It's got to help the resume. Um, in terms of where I'm going to race next year, we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, I do have aspirations of you know continuing to progress. Um, we do, with Jelly Belly, we do like, some decent international racing. We race you know, all over North America, we do some pretty hard races in Asia. Um, but I do want to progress and you know, race at the level of Tour of California. I, as opposed to having that as the biggest race of the year, I'd like to do that a little more regularly. So, you know, that kind of guides me towards maybe a little continental team or something like that. Well, again, congratulations. Oh, thank you. How did you find the course?